Good morning and welcome. Mayor, yes. Congressman, yes. and especially today, my soon-to-be fellow Americans. Yes. It's a privilege and honor to welcome you here to the Patterson yes. Great Falls National Historical Park. Soon. Order. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming to the land of the free and the home of the brave. that all candidates please raise your right hand clearly and loudly repeat after me I hereby declare on oath that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince potentate state or sovereignty of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen, that I will support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law, that I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States when required by the law, that I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by the law, and that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, so help me God. Congratulations to our newest citizens. Yes, uh, from keynote speaker Martin Vergara. Martin Vergara joined Morgan Stanley in April 2007 as a first-year analyst and now serves as a Chief Operating Officer for Corporate Services and Global In-House Centers, which is GIC, where he's accountable for the execution of business strategy, including overseeing business initiative, budget, to ensure appropriate allocation of resources, and ensuring consistent metrics to assess business performance. Prior to this assignment, Mr. Vergara was a director of sales, strategy, and execution for Morgan Stanley Private Bank, where he was responsible for the design and execution and client, and client segmentation strategies and tactical initiatives. Martin also, uh, Martin um, is also the board president of the Hamilton Partnership for Patterson, the official friends group of the Patterson Great Falls National Historic Park, whose mission is to enhance the education, social, and economic benefits of the park for the city, state, and the nation. Martin is also the board member for the New Jersey Institute for Social Justice, New Jersey Community Development Corporation, and his high school, DePaul Capital. Martin received his MBA from Columbia University and a BA in finance from the University of Notre Dame, where he was a pitcher on the baseball team. As a high school senior, he was a 15th round grant pick by the Cleveland Indians, can I say that? Uh, baseball club. 
He resides, of course, in the hometown here of Patterson, New Jersey, with his wife, Denise, and his children, Aya and Park. Please welcome Martin. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for the warm introduction, John. I am proud to be here today as a Pattersonian and the board chair of the Hamilton Partnership for Patterson, which, as John mentioned, is the official friends group for the Great Falls National Historical Park. It's pretty special to be here on this site today, as not too long ago, or you know, a couple hundred years ago, George Washington and Alexander Hamilton, immigrant, as Mayor uh, Say had mentioned, camped here during the Revolution. And, not, and now, this has become a destination for thousands of Im immigrants to come and continue coming. So today I'd like to spend just a few moments talking about and sharing my thoughts on what today means to you, to me, and us collectively. So starting with you, congratulations on becoming the newest American citizens today. You will bring the culture. You'll bring the culture and tradition of each of your countries, 12 countries among the 35 of you. Each of you has your own experiences and your own path that has led you here. But the one common bond that we all have is the pursuit of the American dream and the pursuit of happiness. As for my American dream, I'm a second generation Puerto Rican American who was born, raised, and lives here in Patterson. Growing up in this gritty city has helped me appreciate and solidify my version of the American dream, which in my view is all about the little things, not about the things you can count, or not about wealth and things of that nature. Instead, it's about the intangibles. It's about being proud and living life to its fullest. Being proud of family and heritage, being proud of where I was born, in this city, mayor, I'm never leaving, be my home forever, living life to its fullest, maximizing all my God-given talents, and living life to its fullest by maximizing the opportunities afforded to me by my parents sitting right over there. So we must remind ourselves why so many people want to be Americans. And us Americans need to remind ourselves of what it's taken to get to this point, the sacrifices made by our ancestors and our forefathers so that we have the ability to talk about things like life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. President Kennedy famously said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. This quote reminds us that we didn't get here alone, and that we must do our part in protecting and preserving our democracy. So as, as you leave here today, I ask you to think about how you will give back to your country? Will you volunteer in your community? Will you run for elected office? Will you stand up for those who need a voice? Will you fight discrimination and hatred? Will you start businesses and provide jobs? Will you change your block, your neighborhood, or even the world? But while you're at it, don't forget to exercise your new right to vote. Immigrants have been core to the growth and success of this country since its founding. And just to name a few from your countries, founder of Google, Sergey Brin, from Russia. Famous novelists, including works on Patterson, Juno Diaz, Dominican Republic. And the CEO of Microsoft, Satya Nadella, from India. The list obviously goes on and on. So in closing, I say to you, let's dream big. Let's encourage our friends and families to dream big. Let's make the American dream our reality. I wish you great success as new citizens of the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you, Martin, for those very inspiring words. Ramiro Gamez Flores.
Okay. Jeffrey Ondimu. Kareem Ortiz Malaka. Ellie Patel. Salvador Perez. Yeah. 